there's a lot of things to consider when making an animation or doing a book or making a video, you know, um, you know, it, it, there is a process that people, you know, learn to, to do. Uh, I don't even know if many people want to hear me talk about this, you know, I don't even know if I want to talk about this, but, um, you know, it's, I don't know. It's really weird because you just gotta like really decide. I don't know, like if it really works, but decide that you're worth watching and you're gonna do whatever it takes. But that doesn't always work. Um, sometimes you just have to look at things and be like, hey, do I wanna post this? But that doesn't always work either. It's actually really confusing, but. I would say the best way to make a, an animation, how to make a, a comedy animation. The best thing to do is to, to write something and then act it and then animate it, you know? And there's ways to do that that are easy, but depending on what you do, it can be a lot of work. And especially for one person, I don't really worry about doing too much work um, unless... See, the thing about it is, is you need big characters. If you can't make a big character, then it's almost, you know, it's almost not even worth your time, really. Um, so that being said, um, that's not necessarily true, but it's kind of like there are a lot of dynamics to it that you could just put into it that could make it work, you know? And when you really look at, like, what people want to see, what kind of conflicts do they want to see resolve? You know, they want to see relationship issues resolve. They want to see their loneliness. They want to see them and in and, and the dating world and, and different things to go with that. They want to be satisfied with conclusions of things in real life and to put funny, like, little relatable bullshit things in there that that are ironic and... And they could look at it, it makes them laugh because it's like, yeah. You know? And so, how to make an animation? Well, you need to consider a lot of different things. You know, it's, it's kind of funny how things come and go. And especially like fighting. If you just draw someone punching someone in the face, it can be great, but... It could just be so much better if there's like a bunch of anticipation and, you know, you're rooting for the character and, you know, you want to believe in the character and go with them on a journey or whatever. And I understand all that. It's just like, for me, I don't need to. That's kind of the part about kind of the stuff I, I, I do. It's like, I'm pretty much past all of that stuff. And that's kind of the problem. Cause like I'm smart enough and I'm, I've been through enough to where it's like, I'm like, I don't really need to be taught anything from a TV show. You know what I'm saying? Like there might be cool things I could learn from other people's writing. You know what I'm saying? Like there, there are probably cool things that I could learn, but when it comes to like, like me, you know, and everything I've been through, it's like, I don't know, you know, a lot of things it's like, they're pretty disposable and they're, People just try to make things sound interesting. And so when I ever think about an animation, it's like that's pretty much what people do. They just make it look and sound interesting. And for me, I just do it in my own way where it's almost like it's for a certain type of person. You know, it's probably for people that, you know, I don't know. I don't know. Like, I'm not really trying to make it for any type of person. And honestly, I just keep on thinking, just get your shit together. Get your shit together. Get your shit together. Because I know if I just got my shit together and I just did things the right way and I, and I put my head in hard enough. But that's the thing is I don't like to just animate all day. And some people do and some people don't. And that's kind of the problem is you have to go all in on it and you have to make decisions on what you're doing and if you create an original character, it's really got to pop out to people, you know? It's really got to pop out. It's got to be really good. And that could take so long to do. Just such an, a simple little drawing of a character 
can just say so much. You know what I'm saying? And so getting that right, like that, no one really wants to take the time to try to do that. You know, like no one really wants to draw something that's like so iconic that when you look at it, you're like, damn, you know, because like people draw shit all the time and you think that someone, something looks good. You know, you think, oh, this is good and I'm satisfied with this, but it, it's probably not even worth putting color into, you know, like you draw something and you color it. But honestly, if you really get to get real with yourself, it's like, well, you know, you probably need to draw more and more and more until you can get this right. Like, think about what, you know, you have to break it down, to like the shapes and everything. But, you know, a lot of people don't see it like that. You know, they don't really see it like, oh, I could just go and draw something and it's iconic and, you know, I, and <clears throat> I mean, you do need to put it through a process, but just the image of it, you know, it can just be so powerful. A single little image. 